Hi everyone and welcome to my first plan with me video. I'm going to be showing you how I created that beautiful cover art page taking you from the drawing process through to the painting and then I'll give you tips on how I paint all the background pages in my bullet journal. So let's get started. Look at all that beautiful snow outside my studio window. It inspired my cartoon style girl with her woolly hat enjoying the snow. Every cartoon face starts with a circle. Next comes the eye line, which sits near the base of the circle. The midline is where the brows go and the base of the circle is where the nose sits. Pop in a little mouth and chin and round off the face. I'm using my Colour Erase pencil to help me with this just because it's easy to rub out. Once I like how everything is looking, I'll go in with my mechanical pencil and define the features properly. I wanted her to have big doe-eyed eyelashes wear a woolly hat and a really nice chunky scarf. The mechanical pencil is great for detailing the knitted wool in the scarf. I felt my little character needed to be nursing her mug of hot coffee if she's walking around in all that winter woodland. I made sure she's wearing gloves though that match her scarf and a nice thick coat. Next comes her lovely long locks of hair sitting under a lovely woolly hat with a pom pom. She's really starting to look cute now, isn't she? I drew some beautiful winter foliage with little pine cones, just so that I could suggest her walking around in the woods. The winter fairies have been busy there, putting dangles of jewellery and things in the trees. More branches and pine cones, just so that uh, it completes the woodland setting we're going for. And now we can see what the winter fairies have been putting in the trees. We've got stars, hearts and crystals. And they've even hung up the word February just to let you know what month it is. Added in the February calendar and below that I'm putting a branch and adding a few small garden birds. I keep the shape simple and cute with a little dots for beaks and eyes and below them is my quote for the month you were given this life because you are strong enough to live it this quote means a lot to me these days so now it is time to paint i use a nice affordable gouache paint set linked below to mix up some yellows, oranges and reds with white to create nice flesh tones. I add yellow, orange and white to create a peach and then add a little bit of red to create a pastel pink. I use a mix of the peach and the pink to colour the face. My 
My trusty hair dryer dries the face layer straight away. I'm now picking out a blue and brown because I like to mix blues and browns together to get a very dark tone. This is going to be for my eyelashes and the eyes and shadows around the face. You can just use a dark grey or a black for this. I'm now just using a more concentrated peach and pink to add more shading to the face. And now I'm adding more dark tones around to suggest the shadow of the scarf. I'm going to pause here just to let you know what I'll be doing for next week's video. You heard me mentioning the gouache set. Well, I do a proper swatch in that video and show you how I painted this page using the same set. I go into a little bit of colour theory to show you how I get those muted colours. I hope you'll join me. And now we are back mixing some lovely darks for her hair. I'm using the same blue and brown mix, this time with a touch more brown, to paint in her hair. I am using the hair dryer very frequently during this point to dry the paint at every stage. Now we're mixing up some blue and white to make a pastel blue for her hat and then I add a touch of purple to create a lilac for her coat. Mixing a little bit of the dark grey with the lilac will give you a darker purple to add shadows to the coat. I've gone with the turquoise and mixed that with the white for the scarf. Now I mix a bit of brown and white together to create that chocolate coffee colour for her mug. Then I use more concentrated blue colours for the shading. Time for the trusty fine liner pens to provide that touch of detail and outline all the shapes we have painted. And now our girl is virtually done. We're on to painting the background now. I use a watery mix of the coffee colour and the grey colour sitting in the palette to apply to the background. The paint has to be muted, I feel, so that the girl still stands out against the background. I don't leave the paint there too long before I put the hairdryer to it. I'll be going into the tips for painting all my pages later on in the video. But as you can see, there is no ghosting or bleed through the pages and I can get them fairly straight and flat. So I'm now mixing up a blue green and a yellowy green for my forest foliage. I use a rigger brush, which is basically a very fine, long brush, hairbrush, uh, to get those fine pine needles that you can see on the picture. And now we're mixing more blue and brown for the bark and pine cones. The cover page is really starting to take shape now. I just use my turquoise paint to paint in the letters for the word February 
and I will use the same colour for the quote. Just a touch of red for the hearts and some festive looking berries. I know it's a bit Christmassy, but I couldn't really resist. And then blue for the crystals and jewellery beads that the winter fairies have left for us. I'm just using that pretty turquoise colour for the birds and for the quote. I hope you're enjoying how this page is coming along and uh, consider subscribing to my channel where I hope to bring you similar bullet journal related content on a weekly basis. I'm using my brown fine liner pen here to add in the details of the pine cones over the paint. I continue to use the fine liner pens to outline the lettering and the birds um, and put in the dangly strings just to finish the page off. Now on to one of my favourite bits, which is using my white gel pen to add all the snow and snowflakes, which I do all over the spread to complete the look. And here is the finished page. I hope you love it. And as you can see, there's no ghosting or bleed through. And now we're on to my first tracker page of the month which are my goals and habit trackers. There's a little bit of drawing again on this page. Um, this is a sentimental thing. My mum had passed six months ago and this is her birthday month. I had already bought these Christmas birds for her, but unfortunately she uh, never got to see them. So I really wanted to put them in my bullet journal for the February in honor of her really. They're cute, fat-bellied birds, as you can see, singing carols uh, with Christmas hats. I think they look really cute. Now we move on to my tips for painting my bullet journal pages. I use the Scribbles That Matter Pro version bullet journal, and I have found that allows me to use a very watery gouache paint mix and doesn't penetrate the pages at all. So I can just spread it easily across the surface and get the hairdryer to it as soon as I can. When drying the page, I use my fingers to hold each section of the page taut and move down the page as you can see me doing. Next, I use my fingers to smooth out the page while still using the hairdryer to prevent wrinkling and warping. The page is already fairly flat and dry, but just to be on the safe side, I add clips to straighten out the page and give it one last blow dry. I can now add extra paint for my headers and I'll be adding a little bit of blue to the mix to create a lilac to paint the page with the robins on. I do exactly the same thing as I did before, create a nice watery paint mix and don't leave it on the page too long before getting the hairdryer to it. Section by section as I did before and smoothing out the pages. Now I can clip it and use my pens to create my trackers. I made certain promises to my mum to uh, focus on my health, fitness and quality of life as well as obsessing about my art business or getting caught up with mental health issues. So they're the four categories I tend to do now for my monthly goals. Uh, for my trackers, I have created seven by seven squares 
and I've created eight habits to track each month. So now we're going on to my chronic mental health monitoring pages, which could prove a little triggering. So skip this chapter if you want to. I paint the backgrounds of the pages just as I did with my other ones with a nice watery mix, get the hairdryer to it and hold the pages taut and smooth them out as I dry them. I'm using a blue watery paint to cover both pages of the spread. I measure three parameters for my mental health each month, anxiety levels, depression levels and my energy levels and I create three bar charts for the month with a key five to one, five where I'm very ill and one where I'm doing really well. And I complete the bar chart every day just to monitor how I'm getting on as the month progresses or how it tallies up with events going on. The next page is a little more detailed for monitoring my triggers if I need to, I write down what the trigger is, what my reaction was, and any positive solutions that I could come up with to counteract the trigger. I may need just the one page in the month, or I add another one wherever I need it. So now we're on to something a little more cheerful, which are my viewing lists. I divide the page up into four and track what TV programs I watch in, movies, what music I'm really into and any books that I'm reading that month. The following page is actually tracking my finances. Um, I just do four columns, two for in, two for out. And I tend to put it with my viewing lists because then at least it's a happy place to go to. <laughs> So now we move on to my last tracker page that I do in my monthly setups and that's really for tracking my shop inventory lines and also which paintings I'm currently working on, which ones I'm filming or editing and then I track what I'm posting on social media and when and where. I find that this is one of my most useful pages that I use on a daily basis. All the paints and pens, uh, including the bullet journal that I'm using in today's video are linked below by the way, so do check those out if you're not sure of what I'm using. As we put the finishing touches to my film edit post page, we go back to the robins on my habit tracker page ready to paint as the final thing that we do in this video today. I don't like to waste paint, so I'm using the paint color that was left over from the last page that we just painted. I think it's pretty enough for the hats anyway. Then it's red for the hearts and their little chests and the beak. I use pure white gouache for the bodies to mimic what the uh, ornaments look like in real life and then do a quick blast with a hairdryer. I'm using a smaller brush now to define the hearts on their chests and get the wings right and put in the feet. And next we add some danglies of hearts and stars as a little nod to Valentine's Day, uh, which happens this month as well. Once all the paint is dry, it's onto the pens to define the faces and the winter foliage and complete the piece. Thank you. 
and of course we add some nice white gel pen snow dots everywhere to tie it in with the cover page. So here is the final flick through of my plan with me pages for February 2021. I hope you liked the video and do subscribe if you want to see more. I'm trying to uh, get into a habit of posting once a week. And as mentioned before, this is what we're doing next week. I'll finish off with a few links of where else to find us on the internet and look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. Bye.